the broken bone is now set and now they're walking just fine. And, you know, when you hear things like that, we all get to rejoice together. Um, it's a different type of show. It's a participation show. You can participate by, I don't know, buying a slate or something like that, uh, or also participate with uh, helping us pray for the different requests. And um, uh, but while we go on here. Now, also another thing about it, and then I'll get to uh, starting the program. Um, when you get an item here, you got a, a roughly about a, two weeks to pick up the item. Um, and then what we'll do is, we'll, if it's not picked up by then, uh, we'll go ahead and resell it. Uh, and so that way we can, uh, you know, get it, um, get it sold and get it off the shelves. And then also when you see an item on the screen uh, with that little dollar sign that's over there, uh, that, that price that you're seeing also includes the tax. So that way if it's $20 or $5 or even a dollar, that includes the, the, the sales tax that would be for it. So that way uh, the tax is included. Um, that's about it. You got anything else you want to say? No, we, you're going to announce about our singing tonight. Okay. We do have a gospel sing tomorrow evening, starting at 7 o'clock. And the singing is uh, with the Gospel Roadmasters. A lot of people know them. Uh, you know, they've uh, uh, been around a while and uh, singing. And then also we have Chosen. And that you said they were out of Chillicothe, is that right? Circleville. Circleville. I was close, but I knew it started with a C. So we got Chosen and the Gospel Roadmasters tomorrow. Uh, you're more than welcome to come to our station and watch it in person. Um, it's always kind of nice doing it that way. Uh, however, if you want to tune in from the comfort of your home, I absolutely understand. Uh, however, the coffee pot will be on when you get in here, so that way you can get yourself a cup of coffee and uh, we can enjoy some gospel music together and uh, go from there. Um, that's really all the announcements I have. Uh, just pray for uh, us because on Monday we're wiring in. We got the transmitter for Kenton in, or not Kenton, sorry, Ashland in. Uh, WQIZ. Uh, it's been on a backup transmitter for a while. And we got the brand spanking new transmitter in uh, straight from Chicago. Um, and uh, we'll be installing that on Monday. So remember some prayer over that. Okay. And uh, just let you know about that. So people that might be watching in the Mansfield area, you're going to have a whole lot stronger signal coming uh, after Monday and uh, or Monday uh, evening. We'll put it that way. So I got the, we're going to go ahead and start it off with prayer, and I'm going to ask for you to join me. Um, I do have one prayer request that came, uh, you know, actually before the program even started. Uh, and it says, pray for health and upcoming surgery for Dave. And I'm not quite sure which Dave that would be. I know uh, of several Daves. And, um, but the one thing about it, I might not know who they are, but you know what? The Lord knows who they are. And what I'm going to ask for you to do is I'm going to ask for you to pray right along with me on this. And, um, okay, we're going to pray for uh, Dave's for upcoming health and uh, for his health and upcoming surgery. And also I got a prayer request uh, from Bob's for Bob's mom to get better and come back home. Uh, I guess she's been in the hospital for a while, so we're going to pray for both of these right now. And I'm going to ask for you to join in with me, okay? Uh, let's all go ahead and uh, go to the Lord in prayer together, shall we? Thank you. Lord, first off, I want to thank you, Lord. I want to thank you that any time I really need to or anything that uh, uh, is on my mind or is something that I'm uh, uh, worried about, Lord, I get to come to your throne each and every time that uh, I have uh, something going on. Well, Lord, uh, once again, you know it's Friday night, and that means we have Lights, Camera, Shop, where we're trying to help raise some funds so that way we can pay for uh, uh, various bills that come in each and every week. And, Lord, I thank you for that, and uh, I thank you for you uh, allowing us the opportunity and to, to help support your ministry with a, a program like this, Lord. And, Lord, what I'm praying for is I'm praying for you to bless all the viewers and everybody at home. Uh, so, Lord, if they can uh, find a, uh, maybe they want to help us out by purchasing an item or donating some money, uh, Lord, I'm praying that you bless them. And uh, also, Lord, uh, if uh, maybe they don't have the funds to do it, uh, but, Lord, they're just wanting to try to find some quality entertainment uh, and uh, wanting something that's just not the, the normal stuff that you might find on network television. Uh, Lord, they're just trying to find a, a respite from it, Lord, and they're just wanting to come find some uh, wholesome Christian programming for it. Lord, if we can just put a smile on their face and, and a cheer in their heart, Lord, I'd say my job's done, and I thank you for it, Lord. Now, Lord, I also got two more prayer requests, one for Bob's mom uh, to get so much better. She's been in the hospital, it seems like, too long. And, uh, Lord, I'm praying that she does get better and she's able to get back home. And I'm praying for blessings to come her way. And, uh, Lord, for you just to heal her. And also, Lord, I got another prayer request, and it was for Dave. 
Uh, he has an upcoming surgery, and um, he needs prayer for health as well. So, Lord, uh, that you uh, to bless both him and Eileen and to help them both uh, with uh, upcoming surgeries. And so that way he can get out of the hospital and uh, for both of them. And, Lord, I'm praying that uh, you just help them and bless them and uh, lift them up. Uh, be with them and bring some peace to their mind and also peace to the minds of their families at the same time. In Jesus' name, I humbly pray. Amen, amen. and amen. Thank you. We're going to start off with some items that are not on our sheets. Okay, we are off is, the sheet. Yeah, we're, we're just going spontaneous. Off the cuff. There you go. Right. You want to do the first one here? First one we we'll have do a slate. is... We got a slate of Ohio, and it is an eagle. Look at that. Look at that. Let me zoom this camera out. And Hold it on says a second. Soaring. And what can I say? On my camera shop, you get quality camera work made done by the host that itself, is, too. So there you go. That is done by Jim Rouse. And, and we it, want to thank Jim. Uh, it was for, this year, 514, ooh, that he look at did that. that. So there you go. This one's called Soaring. You and can there you see the eagle. outside or inside hanging because it does have a clear coat. It does have a clear coat. That's where you see that little sheen from it. And that does have a clear coat, so you can keep it outside, put it on the porch, uh, and show it off. And uh, it's just a really neat piece right there. And let me see if I can zoom in even better on that eagle. Let me see if I can zoom in. There you go. And uh, we're selling it for how much? $35. $35. $35. And if you're interested, and if you're interested in that, just give us a call. And I'm trying to zoom out slowly so I don't make people sick at home. And uh, go from there. And Jim is from Caledonia. That's Local Mary artist. County. I like it. So uh, thank you once again, Jim, for uh, donating these items. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, move on to the next item. So if you're interested in that soaring uh, slate, just let us know. Here is a long slate. And we're selling these for 50 All right. This one is Cumberland Falls in Kentucky. Now let me see if I can. I don't know. Uh, which would be the best. Can you get it with camera 8? I guess it would be. I think it's number eight. It's number eight on the input. Yeah. We'll see if you can. That, that'll work. How's that? And there you see it. It looks like it's Cumberland Falls, you know, the little thing on there. Uh, that's in Kentucky, if you don't know. Cumberland you, Falls State you should, Park. It's in southern Kentucky. I mean, you, or, um, you, you should go there if you ever had the opportunity. Uh, it's a really nice place right there. Um, got uh, some waterfalls and a whole lot of nature. And uh, you can really uh, fall in love there. And uh, see if I can get it on Johnny Cam, maybe a little bit uh, close up. Oh, there you go. Can you come to Johnny Cam? And um, is there, there you a go. Quote on that one? There is a quote on there by Cicero. Uh, it says, "Art is born of the observation and investigation of nature," and that's true. Art, you know, that's God is a wonderful artist. And I mean, if he you go the, to a couple, he is the best. I say, if you go to like Cumberland Falls and some of these other places, you will see the beauty in nature and uh, just know behind uh, there, you'll see the, the quote up here uh, by Cicero. And um, you go to one of those places and truly see uh, uh, nature's master, uh, majesty. And um, you know what? It, it's, it's really nice. So th just give us a call on that. If you're interested in the, the long slates, there you go. $50 if you're interested in that. Give us a call. Here we have another long slate. It says if 50. you have, now this one is Rosalind Carter, okay? It says if you have, okay, you have to have confidence in your ability and then be tough enough to follow through. And that's by Rosalind uh, Carter. And you're seeing that right here a bridge that's spanning the, the gap. Pacific Coast Highway. Okay, where it's uh, spanning the gap between two mountains there. And that's true. You have to have the confidence in your ability and then uh, be tough enough to follow through. And if you didn't follow through on that, uh, you'd never have that bridge there. No, you and, wouldn't. And uh, there you go. And I think that is just really cool. It'd be a nice inspirational piece for maybe somebody's mm -hmm. office. Uh, so uh, if you're interested in those, uh, give us a call on that. And that's another $50 slate. And that says Pacific Coast Highway on that. Thank you. This one is Camp Line, 11 by 14 acrylic. All right. It is 30. $30 on this. And there it you see it. It is canvas, acrylic. Let me try to get so it's not glaring as much. I'm trying to, because we got so many lights around here, I'm just trying to make it so it doesn't uh, affect it so much. Now here you're seeing the, the tent here, campfire, some sticks and everything else all situated. 
And uh, yeah, just ready to go camping. Maybe they're love... making s'mores. They're going to. Oh, I love making s'mores. It's one of my favorites. But however, I'm uh, when we went uh, camping the last time, we used uh, bananas instead of marshmallows. I know. And they're delicious. That way it's like a banana's foster. Wow. Oh, it's good, man. Ooh, it's good. Huh. So just give us a call uh, if you're interested in that for 35 and uh, go from there. Okay? Next item. All right. We have uh, 10 cups. We have 10 of ten. the metal cups. Okay. 10 metal cups. Here you go. Is there you see. $2 dollars each. It's a metal cup. What can I say? It's, it's metal. Okay. Good for camping. Oof, that was loud. That was way too yeah, loud. Yeah, that was way too Woo, loud. that was way too loud. But you're right. Good for camping. Good for what else. Yeah, it's a tin cup. And uh, so that way if you have some loved ones and maybe you're wanting to go out camping. Um, I know uh, we've got the itch to go uh, different places. Uh, wanting to go on vacation and uh, some other different places. And get some uh, tin cups and uh, you'll enjoy it. Um, I truly think things get colder when they're in a tin cup. I do too. They, they truly feel like it. Uh, if you're drinking some iced tea and it's got some ice cubes in it or whatnot, it's just a, a good solid tin cup. Two dollars each, two dollars each. I have a whole whopping ten of them. Ten of them, so just give us a call. Call that number at the bottom of the screen and we'll go ahead and uh, grab them for you, okay? And we got up to 10, so uh, you don't have to worry about getting a place setting for six or place setting. You can get as many as you need. Maybe it's just you and you want to, you know, round out your camping section. Well, there you go. Two bucks, you got Maybe yourself you a nice camp. get some cup. in case you have company. That's true. And the nice thing with the 10 cups, if you're doing any sort of campfire, uh, you don't have to worry about scorching your mugs and all this other stuff because it's a tin mug. I mean, they'll wipe right off yeah. uh, with all your smoke and all this other stuff. And they work well. I mean, work really, really well. Um, and uh, maybe make some hobo coffee where you throw the ground straight in the bottom and just do it that way. Good stuff right Is there. Is it? I, d I think so. I like it. Of course, uh, I used to chew on coffee grounds when I was little, too. And you know why you did. I know, because you introduced me to it, and I thought it was pretty good. So. Yeah, that was a matter of one of those cravings. I didn't do dill pickles. When you were pregnant, you did coffee? Yeah. Tori was the same way with the boys. That's all she wanted was coffee. And she was never a coffee drinker. So, now I if I see- how those things happen. I know, and now I see her going for a cup of coffee. I get a little bit nervous. <laughs> But that's okay. <laughs> so there you okay. go. And uh, so if you're interested in some 10 cups, give us a call. $2 each. Okay. All right. We have seven of uh, Jim Rouse's paintings. Okay. So we're going to show them. Uh, this one the is lighthouses. 16 by 20. Okay. And these are Marble how much? Marblehead in winter, six, uh, 50. Marblehead in winter. Mm -hmm. See, I always thought the Marblehead lighthouse is really pretty, too. And... Um, I never went up there in the winter time. Me either. Because um, I'd always go during the summer like everyone else. But I bet you that would be pretty when uh, uh, Lake Erie frosts over and uh, yeah. stuff like that. I bet you that would be really pretty at night. Uh, stuff like that. And uh, so just give us a call on that one. Sunrise at Cape Hatteras. That's in North Carolina. You okay. need a Johnny Cam. Well, I got to adjust that a little bit more. Hold on a second. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? And see, I like the brush marks here, too. You'll see that. Um, I like really pretty. The, oh, this one right here. Hilton Head, South Carolina. You like that one? Yeah, look at the bottom of it. Ooh, look at that. The reflections. The reflections of the buildings and stuff like that. That's pretty awesome. So there you go. If you're interested in that one, uh, give us a call. i got three more paintings, and uh, we'll go from there. Portland Head Light, Cape Elizabeth, Maine. Never been there. I've always wanted to go to Maine because I love seafood, and I heard you can get lobsters real cheap over there. Mm -hmm. And lobster is by far one of my favorites. And lobster well, rolls. You and take stuff all like that, that you want. Enjoy it. Oh, I love it. Don't worry. If it swims in the ocean or or scurries on the seafloor, that thing is fair game. Oh, here we have the Big Bend Rock. Ooh. And there you see a log cabin there in the, the distance and the go, steps out going to the dock. Really pretty. 
I like it a lot. Hopefully you do too. And get yourself some original artwork for your walls. We're not talking reproductions. We're talking this is original artwork. And this one is the moose chase. Where you got the uh, goose chasing the moose. And there you go. And uh, just an awesome item right there. Just give us a call on that one. Now, last, last one. last one is Chatham Lighthouse in Massachusetts. I love the flag on that one. There you see the flag standing triumphantly. Um, really pretty. Uh, I also like you see the... I like the, the colors of it. Yeah, yeah. I think so. I, I really like it too. So just yeah, give we'll us a call on it. The, the lamps and the books first. Okay. okay, so just give okay. us a call on okay. those. Okay. And uh, we'll go from there. 50 bucks. Give us a call. We had a... Uh, these are all spontaneous. We had yeah. John and April. It's either April or Delaware. I'd have to go see the piece of paper's on that back table. I know it okay. is because I wrote it down. But yeah, they dropped it off um, earlier. They're and from Delaware. They're from Delaware. And here they've got a bunch of books. These are all hardback. One, two, three, four. Here's six of them. Let's do six those for ten. Hardback books. <laughs> ten these hardback are. books. Oh, on a how-to book. Six hardback books for ten dollars. So let's see what they are. Basic wiring, plumbing, advanced woodworking, masonry, new living spaces, and outdoor recreation areas. So in each one of the books, they will tell you everything in there about basic wiring oh, and how to do your wiring and stuff plumbing. like that. I hate I mean, plumbing. But I, I think am not good at it at all. People need to know more about it, but anymore you got to be careful and make sure you're following all sure. the And then here's your woodwork, advanced woodworking, making dovetails and all that other stuff. Then you got masonry, or, uh, or masonry, so that way you can build walls and stuff That's like that. Sold. New That's living spaces and outdoor recreation areas. Those are all sold. Yep. Oh, thank you. Yep. Now here's another bunch. Okay. Let's sell these for ten too. Ten as well. Okay, so we got some more for ten. This one has everyday home repairs. Do it. Talking about your basic toolkits, floors and walls, and all sorts of other stuff. Windows and doors. Uh, unclogging a sink drain. How to stop a running toilet. Stuff like that. So Little we got quick all ones. Of these. This one right here is essential car care on how to do things about car safety, car blowouts, car fires. Uh, checking and adding oil, drying the distributor cap. We don't have a lot of distributor caps anymore, but testing for worn shocks and struts and stuff oh. like that. Paint, wallpaper, kitchens, bathrooms, outdoor structures, windows, and doors. And uh, so that's sold too. Okay. Now we're going to sell these three huge books for $10. And if you're into car restoration, car restoration, this may be for you. Or general repair. Yeah. These are your Motors Auto Repair Manuals, and this is for 1972. Uh, Motors 1972, and there you got your four-speed transmissions and uh, front-wheel drive turbos for GMs. You got your Cadillacs, Plymouths, all that other stuff. This one is a motor for 1982. Uh, so if you have an 82 car, uh, there you go. And then also we got a Motors, and that's for 1977 through 84 models. And those are sold, sold. as well. So those were 10. Oh, thank you. Oh, my goodness, those things are heavy. <laughs> Woo! Now we got a couple of lamps. Okay. We got a couple. couple of, uh, candle holders that are from the floor up. Oh, they're, they're huge. So, yeah. We got two of those. Yep. They got a matching These set. These are wrought iron. Heavy. Now you're going to have to get a, a big heavy. shot. Can you get a big shot? Uh, like maybe go to camera We've eight and zoom them, out yeah. or something like that. Let's uh, do this let me see if I can. can. This, uh, I can't even get this thing all the way down. I can't get those are worth a lot of money. I'm sure. Can you the get me another iron. shot, Richard? Look how look how tall they are. Uh, let's see if Richard can get us another Richard. shot. There we go. Yeah, I see him getting one all squared away. Um, and the bottom of those, I don't know if you can get those through, through right lights or the uh, Johnny Cam. See how they. Oh, I can do the that. The bottom. Now, how much are they, Mom? Ten dollars for the pair. For the pair? Yeah. Ooh. So. Okay, they're so. All right, moving on. 
That is a steal and a half. I mean, if we're wrought iron candle holders, whoo. Okay. That costs you quite a bit of money. A Ten dollars? Yep, the cord looks good. Cord looks good. Does it even I uh, don't have a bulb in it, so I can't test it. But look good looking lampshade. Uh, yeah, shade's in good condition. Good looking lamp. Ten dollars. Uh, Ten dollars and it can be yours. And um, you know, so there and you go. If you go out and price a, a lampshade, you're gonna pay that much. Those and not counting the lamp. The lamps are I know. expensive. I know. Even at secondhand stores and stuff. That's sold. That's sold. Okay, thank you. Now, oh my goodness. We got one more lamp. Oh goodness. Okay. Let's do this one for fifteen. Okay. Yeah. That one's fancy. This one is on wrought iron pedestal. Yeah, I got the feet and on and Johnny Cam. Did look on there? On yeah. The, uh, this is a, a fancy decorative light. If you're looking it, for one for like a bedroom or a den. Um, just put yourself in there, a nice bowl, and you're good to go. And the cord looks in good condition. It does look like it's in good condition. And thank you, uh, those who donated this. Uh, I think it's John and, John and Angie. April. I want to say it's Angie. Um, I need Amos, a piece of paper. Would you look and see if that. It says on there donated by, there. and I wrote their name on it. Okay. And uh, fifteen we can give dollars a, for that. A proper line. thank you. And. It's got all that decorative look on the, around the uh, bottom of it and around the top of the base mm -hmm. and the different color at the top here, uh, at the very top end of it. Mm -hmm. So can we zoom in on it through Johnny Cam? Well, we just got to get to it. There you go. There's Johnny Cam. There you see in the bottom of it. And you see the uh, there is some metal work there on the bottom. And then there you see the... The scroll, I don't know if you'd call it a scroll work, um, but I mean, it, it looks really pretty. I, I like it a lot. Hopefully you do too. And um, it looks okay. really good. And I think it would uh, yep. uh, be a, a wonderful addition to your home. Okay? Okay. Okay, that's fine. Well, I'll just keep it right here then. I'll keep it comfortable. $15. $15 and this one can be yours. Now we have two lamp shades. These appear to be in good condition. This has a tag on it of silver. It says silver shade, fourteen dollars. This one has no tag. It in in the center is a silver look. So that thing would throw off a lot so, of light. It uh, just keep on reflecting. Ten dollars for both shades. Both shades, ten bucks. Yeah, that's a good deal. I know you. Shades are expensive. Them. You yeah. can't find them either. Most of the time it's always with the lamp. But here you go, you can get the shade, and there you see that one's got a nice decorative look to it. This one, as Mom was saying, it's silver on the inside, so that way it'll keep on reflecting that light. And um, so, so both of them for ten. So there you go. Good item, both of them for ten dollars. Just give us a call on a note. And go from there. And the phones are ringing. All right, so we have the one lamp that isn't sold. That's the decorative wrought iron pedestal. Yes. Um, and it's 15, and then these are 10. Yes. So, um, Richard, the two lampshades are 10. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, we're good. The lamps are The other lamp the lamp's sold? sold? Yeah. Okay. okay, the lamp is sold. Now we need to sell these lampshades. Yeah. They are, uh, this one in itself has got a price on it of $14. Yeah. We're selling them both. Both of them for 10. for 10. That's a good deal. That's $5 a lampshade. Yeah. That's cheap. That's really, really cheap. So uh, just give us a call and we can get, get it for you and uh, go from there. All right. Okay. Any other takers That's... on that? Any other takers on that? Okay, we're going to move on. If you want these lampshades, two for ten. Two for ten. What a deal. I mean, especially if you have kids and they dent up your other uh, lampshade and stuff like that. So just give us a call. 
These are cedar seedling boxes. Seedling boxes. What I got? Eighty seedlings. Yep. So basically, let me zoom out just to five dollars each. We have three. You, when you open this up, you'll see right there. There's like a, a cloth in there, and then you see all these little squares under this mesh. Well, what happens is when you open up the back, see if I can get it. This slate. Uh, I'm sorry. This will actually come on out. I right, see that where it's coming out. You put dirt in there. Okay, and then you close it up with this. So that way you got dirt in there, and then of course you'll just attach it uh, like that so that way it won't come flying out. And then what you do is you'll uh, cut little slits in here and you'll put your plants to start them. Uh, so that way, and then you just water this and you don't have to worry about weeds that way. Uh, and you'll start all your different plants and all you gotta do is just pull them out and plant them. And uh, you're good to go. Uh, we're selling it for $5. Uh, we only have one. We have three. We have three. Mm -hmm. All right. So if you're interested in these, um, five dollars each. Five dollars each. Uh, just give us a call on that. So one of the more unique items, and uh, uh, just go from there. Okay. Uh, five dollars each on the. And this is uh, cedar in it. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say it's cedar too. So that way you know it's not going to get corroded and nasty and uh, the rot and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Um, because that's one thing about cedar, it doesn't rot. You can go from there. So just give us a call. Okay, we have VHFS of Now and Forever, Shirley Temple. All right, Now and Forever. $10, and there's a note inside of it. Okay. This is donated by Connie. Donated by Connie. Uh, it says, uh, Rare Fine Etsy used $10 for Now and Forever tape. Uh, and that's what they're saying for, uh, so if you're interested in that, give us a call. Alright, give us a call on that. Okay. Hey mom, how about this? Let's sell that for seven if they're interested. Seven dollars you're interested. No. No, no. Okay. So if you're interested in this VHS movie, we'll sell for seven. And that is now okay. and forever with Shirley Temple. Okay. All right, and you get it on the original VHS. Good night. This decorative box holds some jewelry, and we showed this last week. Um, the flowered box with the ribbon handle, right. and inside is actually jewelry from the loft. This is from a the loft. handmade um, jewelry. Well, this so original says 1495 right there. Yeah. Okay. She makes the jewelry uh, for the law. Okay. Most of it anyway. And you got a bracelet right there. And there's a card inside it that'll tell you about it. Says it says the loft accessories out of prospect. And then you also have the loft necklace right there as well. Okay. And you get the really pretty box with it. And uh, this one and we, is all uh, seed. It looks like seed beads and stuff like that. We put 20 on it. We had 25 last week. Okay. So $20 on that, $20 on that, just give us a call, you get the box, and you get the two sets of jewelry, and the necklace, and uh, go from there. And uh, it's a nice brown color, I like it a lot. Okay. Really pretty, $20. Next we have a mason jar that I'm sure is an antique. That's an old atlas jar. Selling them for $5. That's an atlas jar with an easy seal on it. Um, so, yeah. It says atlas, uh, trademark, uh, easy seal. And so, basically, you got you put your seal on there, put your lid on there, and go from there. Now, there used to be, on these uh, type of mason jars, there was a piece of wire that would go over top and actually clamp down. And uh, so, that's how you would keep your mason jars sealed up and stuff like that. Now it doesn't have that, but you got yourself a nice, unique um, Atlas EZ Seal um, mason jar. An old antique. And at $5 each, remember, the tax is included, so that means you're getting it for $4 and change. Because all it is is $5 and it's out the door and it's yours, okay? Next That'd be time. great for marbles or anything else you want to stick in it. Yeah, or even candy. Candy would be wonderful. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, these are a sets of cassettes. This one is called The Hazard of a Hard Heart. By Andy Stanley. Don't let your heart become hardened. And Take we'll hold of God's instruction. Both of them for 15? Now this is called okay. Grace, God's Second Chance, uh, In Touch Ministries. Okay. And there's your cassette. And that's Charles Stanley. So um, the same In Touch Ministries that you'll find on our stations uh, with uh, Charles Stanley. Uh, well, guess what? We have one of their um, uh, tape series, God, and Grace, can, God's Second Chance, and The Hazard of the Heart. And can uh, you... Both of um, them from the In Touch. Can people change these to uh, CDs? Because well, it's with the a CD. computer and stuff yeah. like that, I guess. Um, you can go from there. Okay. All right. A whole set. Here whole here set. Goes. Here's the rubber band that goes with them. And here's their Atlas jar. What do you got? Next we have some books. Okay. Books are always good. Appetizers, this book. I've got three. Did I have three on that? I had five on the It says sheet. three. Three dollars. Okay, three dollars. Three dollars, and this is all quick and easy recipes, appetizers. Uh, so basically you got in here. Um, from horseradish cream for asparagus roll-ups and herb dip, cheese spread California style, okay. Uh, cheese mountain with uh, Jezebel sauce, okay. Hot salmon puffs with horseradish sauce, uh, Jamaican jerk chicken satay, I guess, okay. Um, turkey cocktail balls, zesty Latin devils, okay. Bite-sized broiled falafels, Bruschetta, I like bruschetta. Uh, olive cheese tidbits, oriental almonds, spiced walnuts, uh, crusty, creamy, uh, have already. Uh, easy caniches, uh, French mushroom nibblers, roasted garlic, and more. So you got all your quick and easy appetizers for three bucks. What's the next now this one? one is um, 30 minute meals, uh, 30, 30 meals, 30 minutes. Joanna Lund, what? she was one that was on, um, I believe it was QVC. Mm -hmm. She is uh, no longer with us now. Okay. But she spent her time writing healthy cookbooks because um, she uh, had a calling for that, she felt. Okay. To help people to lose weight. Well, why don't we sell these for three? Just sell all these cookbooks for three dollars. Now each. this one here, if it doesn't sell, I'm going to get this one. It's called Grandma Joe's Soup Kettle. So that's Joanna thirty minute Lund. meals. Thirty minute meals by Joanna Lund. It's uh, 120 simple recipes and menus to get you a healthy, delicious food on the find on the table fast. And also Grandma Joe's Soup Kettle. And uh, the one thing about if you know the uh, Aiken family at all, we love our soups. And uh, uh, especially my mother and my daughter. Uh, my daughter would get soup over anything. You know, French fries? Nope, she wants chili. Okay. Uh, Spanish tomato soup, French bean and tomato soup, celery cabbage soup, hearty borscht. Ooh, we're even going Russian over here. Baked potato soup, more uh, pasta seafood chowder. Oh, there you go. Um, Lancaster chicken corn soup with Rebels. Curried chicken and corn chowder. Oh, I love hey, curry. Hey, I want that one. Could I have that soup one, please? You, you want the soup one? Well, okay. You gonna make some soup? Yeah, I will. Okay. Find the one with the curry. I always like curry stuff. Mm -hmm, it's good for you, too. Is it? No, oh, I hope so. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is on sale due to the fact that it was not picked up. Okay. This is a twin extra long ensemble, bed ensemble. It has the sheets and it has a throw. But it does um, not contain the sham. Yeah, and it has the comforter. The comforter is reversible. Okay. So if you show the picture, you can see both sides of it. Oh, okay, gotcha. 
and it just does not have the reversible sham yeah. at the top for your pillows, but it has the uh, three-piece sheet set and the fleece throw in there. And it comes from a major box store. Um, okay. And when I saw it on uh, one of the others, I'm not sure this is it. It says $100 on it the sold back. It's for $100. Yeah, so there you go. And how much are we selling it for? 25 25 Okay. Yeah. So there you go. If you're interested in that, just give us a call. Call that number at the bottom of the screen and say, hey, I want one. This looks like something that would appeal to teenagers. Yeah. They always like those weird green and yellow colors and stuff like that. Well, you love yellow. I love yellow and green and stuff like that, too. But I need, a, I need bigger than a twin extra long. So there you go. That's college size twin extra long. It's a twin extra long is the it will fit like the hospital beds because of the extra long length. Okay. Okay, we have some couple of water games. Water games. Picked up. Okay. So you got water games where you squirt them and trying to get the uh, uh, little rings on the uh, on the swords and stuff like that. It says Sea Party on it. We're selling them for two dollars each. It looks like two dollars each. So if you're interested in those, um, give us a call on the water game. So uh, just push the button and you'll see them go swish, 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 and you try to get it on the, the little line. All right, this is got? a biker flag. Biker that flag. Not picked up. This is the only one left. Okay. You want me to get it out for you? Sure. Yeah, why not? What's it say? It says American, okay, it says uh, USA Proud, American by birth, biker by choice. So there you got a biker flag, five bucks if you want it. Last one, last one, I hear the phones are ringing. Uh, we'll just go ahead and put this off to the side. So there you go. If you want that flag, see if it's sold. This one is due to non-pickup. More non-pickup, okay. So there you go. Sell that for ten. The, the plate and the uh, teapot. Plate and teapot. We had the. Uh, it originally sold for ten. Made in Indonesia. No, it's got a T on it. And it's kind of the little bottom part. We put that on that. So it's a the orange teapot. Orange teapot and a, and a tea plate. Trimmed you and um, it's gold trimmed. Yeah, really pretty. I like it. Give us a call on that. Jonathan, we'll move forward with it. Hmm. We have sports water spray bottles, and you also have a a fan that moves the air. So if you get hot like I do, five dollars each. That's cut down. Oh, that's a good Those deal. Those are the two that we have left so, due to non-pickup. What you do is you fill it full of water. It's got a little fan on it that'll turn on. And then what you do is you give yourself a spritz and also cool yourself off with the fan. We have it in purple and green, $5 each, $5 each. You just give us a call on those. And you can get yourself spritzed up and uh, cooled off with your little uh, water bottle and stuff like that. We will say they'll be used later, but for now we've not had much bad, uh, hot yeah. weather. It's not been hot yet. No, but yet. it will. Yet is the key word. And uh, so, I mean, if you're thinking about going out fishing, and especially in the dog days of summer, this would be a nice item to have with you. Find yourself a nice shady spot and uh, cool yourself off because it just takes batteries. And uh, there you go, $5 each, $5 each on that. Now All we right. have a metal fate sign. Thank you. Mm -hmm. For $3. Metal fate sign. It says right here. Faith is not believing that God can. 
It's knowing that he will. There you go. I like that a lot. Which that is true. Faith is not believing that God can. It's knowing that he will. So true. So true. And uh, that preach right there. You can do a whole sermon and a half on that. That's true. And uh, so there you go. If you're interested in the nice little faith sign right there, uh, just give us a call on that. And uh, we'll go from there. Now, Mom, we'll do that item, and then we'll do some prayer requests, okay? We got two. We got two? Okay. And I'm going to invite people to call in and go from there. Okay. These are due to non-pickup. I see There's two of them? Yeah. $3 each, yes. OSU merchandise. OSU merchandise. Bandanas, OSU bandanas. Oh, they're taped together. and Apparently somebody bought two of them. I so there so. you go. They're Ohio State bandanas. And let me see if I can get it out here so you can see it. See over there, Ohio State. See that? It's a block O, Ohio State. Trust me on that. It is. And uh, it's a bandana, Ohio State bandana. I got two of them attached here. And uh, we're selling them for how much? $3? $3 a piece. Dude, that is cheap. No. For an Ohio State bandana? Yep. Holy mackerel, that's a good price. Uh, you going to do these first? I might have to take it and uh, go from that. Yeah, we can do those real quick. So if you're interested in the Ohio State bandanas for $3 each, that's a good price. That means you're getting it for $2 a change for a licensed Ohio State merchandise. Yep. Wow, what a deal, Mom. What a deal. Okay. Uh, I got a, a couple prayer requests that came on in here, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to pray for them, okay? And I'm going to do the one that's kind of rough first. Um, I saw this over there. Um, I try not to read the prayer requests when they come in, but if I see they're involving babies or they're involving kids and everything, I try to rush them up there. And this one says right here, uh, Cassie and Austin, okay? It says right there... Um, Cassie's pregnant, okay? She's pregnant, but what the doctors are saying is she's losing the baby due to much, too much fluid present uh, because there is a lack of oxygen, and that's what they're saying. So, that's not an easy request, I'll put it that way. But the one thing about it is I serve a great big God, and I know if you've had the doctors tell you that things are going to be different, it's hard to have faith that something can change. But the one thing, you don't need to have a whole lot of faith. You just have to have a wee little bit of faith and have a real big God. So what we're going to do is we're going to pray for Cassie and Austin. And here's one thing I'm going to ask for you, you at home, uh, right there wherever you're at, to pray right along with me. And uh, this isn't an easy request, but it just says... Uh, Cassie and Austin, because uh, she's pregnant and losing the baby because there's too much fluid and there's a lack of oxygen. And that's what the doctors are saying. So let's all go ahead and pray for her. And um, go from there. Waiting on God to change it. Okay. Waiting on God to take it. She's not born yet. She's still in the womb. She's not born yet. It's still in the womb. Well, the Bible says he knew us in the womb. He and knew he you. He knew all about it, and he knew when we were conceived, he knew our yeah. form. Yeah. He knew how many days were ordained to us in our life. And this baby is a person, as long as it's still alive. Well, let's go ahead and pray for Cassie and Austin, and uh, pray for the little baby as well. Lord, first off, I want to thank you, Lord. I get to come to your throne one more time. And Lord, I got a prayer request right now, and it's uh, where I'm going to have to rely on you for this one there, Lord. And I know uh, Cassie and Austin will as well. Lord, I got the request saying that she's pregnant, and Cassie's pregnant, Lord. And, but they're telling her that the baby uh, is not going to be um, not going to be living because there's too much fluid and the baby doesn't have enough oxygen. Lord, what I'm praying for is I'm praying for you to help her. Help her through it all, Lord. 
Lord, I'm praying for you to help the pregnancy, and I'm praying for the... Um, the one thing about it, Lord, is I know that you specialize in the hard cases. That's the whole thing about it, Lord. And when, I'm sure when Cassie and Austin got the news, it wasn't an easy news for them to take either, Lord. And I thank you that you were there in the hospital room with them. And Lord, I'm thankful that you're there also with the baby in the womb. Lord, I'm praying for you to make a way where the doctors say there is no way. Because, Lord, I truly believe that you can help out this situation, Lord. Lord, I'm praying for you to be with Cassie and Austin both. And, Lord, to help them with it. Lord, bring some peace to their minds and peace to their hearts. And uh, just let them know that everything's going to be okay because you're there for them to lean on, Lord. Lord, I thank you for it all. Lord, just be with them and uh, help them through it all. And let your love abound in the entire uh, family, Lord. In Jesus' name, I humbly pray. Amen and amen. Amen. You know, God controls the time of, of the little ones. It's true. Well, Mom, I got one here, and I'm going to have you pray for it. Okay. This one says for Rhonda for quick healing. And, uh, Lord, we come to you right now in behalf of Rhonda. And yes, we know Lord, that you Lord. have done a mighty work in her Touch life. Her, Lord. And she's come a long ways, and she still has some a ways to go, but we know that you're right there with her. We know that her faith is strong, yes, and we're Lord. asking you right now for that quick healing, that sure healing, uh, that patience that comes from knowing you. And we're just asking you, Lord, to heal her body and heal it with assurance, Yes, that Lord. everything is going to be all right and it's going yes, to be Lord. a sure healing for Rhonda. And she's going to move forward with her life in a mighty way because you are there and you took her through this. You took her through this valley. And yes, we ask Lord. for your help and healing. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. You know, Jonathan... I said this Wednesday night, and it may be just a little thing, but instead of worrying, this, this came to me, instead of worrying, sit in your rocking chair of faith yeah. and sing. And when you sing to the Lord and you praise his name, yeah. there's a lot of things that can change. Amen in that. And the Lord recognizes that even in your darkest valley, days, yeah. you are sitting in your rocking chair of faith and singing. Believing. And praising his name. Absolutely. And lifting him up and saying it is good. Yeah. This is good. Life is good. We believe you, Lord. We trust you. Mm -hmm. So just my a food for thought. I like your little foods for thought because you know what? That's a, a good thing. So okay. we're going, why are we going to sell now? Now here's one thing I'm also going to let everybody know. If you have some prayer requests, maybe you've got something going on in your life at home. Uh, maybe something going on in your life right now, uh, or maybe in the lives of one of your friends and one of your neighbors. And maybe you've tried everything that you could think of in how to solve a situation or how to rectify a situation. Try Jesus. The one thing about it is... Um, and you turn it over to him. When you turn... Yeah, that's it. We, Say, I don't know. I've tried everything. I just can't control this. There's things in life in you... Hand. There's things in life you can't control. Yeah. You know, whether the cancer cells are growing or not, you can't control that. So why not uh, put it in the, the creator's hands, uh, the person who knew you in the womb and watched you grow? And um, I can't think of a better place to have it. No. So uh, if you have something going on that you'd like prayed for, I'll tell you one thing right now. If you want to give a name as anonymous, I'm fine with that. We don't do last names here. So that way, all they'll know is... You know, whatever your name is, whether it be a Becky or a Leo or so, or whatever else, 
you know, that's the only thing that people would know. But the one thing about it is when you can get, when you can get Christians together in prayer, prayer can move mountains. And it doesn't have to be like Mount Everest. It could be the mountains in your life. Maybe you have something that's blocking your way of that new job or that new, uh, uh, or maybe a new uh, diagnosis where you're cancer free. Maybe you've got a mountain in your life. Well, let's gather some Christians together and let's pray for it. And let's see what happens. Let's go from there. All right, we have some assorted DVDs. Mr. Peepers, I see that one. Mr. Peepers, I have no idea what that is. It's $15. Okay, $15, you get all these DVDs. Yeah. You get Mr. Peepers, Benny Hill, <laughs> I like Benny Hill. Um, <laughs> Betty White, Sergeant Preston of the Yukon. You get the Donna Reed Show. Burns and Allens, okay, mad about you. You get a Yule Log, so you can find out about that. There's another Yule Log, okay. And Spike Jones, the legend. You get all those for $15. And uh, a lot of those aren't the ones that you normally see on television either. So, uh, well, you don't now because those are vintage, so those well, are collectible. But just because they're old doesn't mean it's not watchable. Oh, no, they're collectible. They're collectible, and there's also... And there's the, good stuff in a lot of them. And that's the one thing about it. Maybe you can want to find some TV shows where they don't have cussing in it. Um, and then you'll have those adult situations uh, dealing with relationships that will, you know, a lot of these television shows will get them completely wrong, you know. But maybe you want some wholesome shows. Grab some of those. Let's see what we can do. I have some books. Okay. These are North American birds, and you mm -hmm. can show some of the pictures. It's five dollars. They're hardback. North American birds. Can you come over to the Johnny Cam real quick, Richard? Yeah. So there you go, five dollars on. There's a nice blank page, isn't that pretty? You got uh, birds of the sea and your introduction right there. And uh, so there you got a robin. It looks like, or not a robin, but a cardinal. You got golden eagles and buzzards, birds of the sea, double crested uh, cormorant, gannets, okay, birds of the shore, the American oyster catchers, and ospreys and stuff like that, uh, whooping cranes and spoonbills. And so if you know someone that loves <coughs> birds, roadrunners and owls and everything else, get them one of these books. And only five bucks. One. Only $5. got one. Give us a call. This is the Weight Watchers. What? The... To cook. 300 recipes. All right. Five dollars on that one as well. And so uh, maybe you're uh, on Weight Watchers. Um, go from there. Uh, this one also has on there, it says serve six. Does it say, yep, they all have points values in them. Okay. So that way you can see grilled T-bone steak with Portuguese Piri Piri sauce, and it says right here points value six, and it tells you about each serving and stuff like that. A garlic ginger steamed clams with pasta. My wife would never touch that, but it's in here, and uh, so it's got uh, 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 all your other different ones: pasta <laughs> with roasted tomatoes and basil, and basil, a vegetarian dish. Points value of seven. Uh, warm mozzarella white bean and bacon stew and all sorts of other goodness uh chili lime corn on the cob points value at two so there you go weight watchers what to cook now 300 recipes for every kitchen now here we have a weight watchers ultimate chicken cookbook <sighs> which is um five dollars and look there is a chicken stir fry with snap peas and almonds and it is six points i believe oh yeah that'd be good right there that does yeah. look good. That looks really, really good. And then you got your grilled chicken and raspberries. Uh, make ahead dishes. What do they got in here? All your chili. Cincinnati five way chili. Nine points. I love chili. And uh, easy chicken. Uh, slow cooker ham and cheese, turkey breast. Uh, turkey mushroom pot stickers with dipping sauce. Oh, I love pot stickers, man. Oh, I know you got to Oh, man. We tear off. them things up. And here you got it. Brunswick drumstick stew. I've never seen that before in my entire life. Points value is seven. Good item right there. 
Now we have Grandfather's Household Wisdom Solutions to Every Day Household Problem. Ooh, this would be a good book. Five dollars, it's Grandfather's Household Wisdom Solutions to Every Day Household Problems. So they got in here some what's it's and everything so you can figure out what some of this stuff is. Um, then they're talking about windows and shades, how to tighten them. Uh, then they got some other different things in there. Floors, uh, heating, air conditioning, uh, all sorts of other stuff. Wasps and eaves. Um, Desperation, the mother of invention. So here you go, nice item. Grandfather's household wisdom. Five dollars. There you go. Okay, we're going to sell these. I think this is the wrong item, but oh. we're going to do it anyway. Um, those are gloves. Looks we're like selling work gloves. Two dollars. Two dollars a pair. Yep. For work gloves? Well, that's cheap. Uh, well, here's what we were supposed to sell. But well, go ahead with it. I want us to do it. Two dollars a pair. Work gloves. Two. So there you go. If you got uh, maybe stuff that you need to. Work on uh, gardening or, or taking off, uh, you know, tearing up uh, some trees and stuff like that. Here you got some work gloves at two dollars a pair. They got a nice grip we to got them. Six Protect pairs. your hands and stuff like that. Two dollars a pair. Two dollars a pair. Be good to work in your garden for sure. Oh yeah, work in your garden. Work around your house. Mm -hmm. um, carrying stuff. Good item right there. Get you some work gloves. Get some work done. Got six pair, right? Yeah. Six pair. Six pairs. Any other takers? <laughs> We're getting some prayer requests, Mom. But that's okay. We've been in the praying business a whole lot longer than we've been selling stuff. That's all in God's hands. You know, Sebby's absolutely right. It's all in God's hands. So uh, there you go, and um, go from there. We'll go ahead and sell this. Um, these are all-purpose gloves. They're just so, those uh, thin, clear ones. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. For like, huh? We had six pairs total of the work gloves. Three of the work gloves are sold. we uh, so I'll sell these now. How many of these you got? Somebody didn't pick them up. We've got one. We only got one, and it's two bucks? Yep. Wow. We might as well just keep them here. I'll tell you the dang going truth. One pair of work gloves yeah. left. But these are for um, best glove of any job around the house. So if you got to do painting, you got to do. Those are the, the these plastic. These are the plastic type where um, maybe you're changing print cartridges and stuff or refilling them. And that way you don't get ink all over your hands like always yeah. happens to me. You can get some gloves so you don't have to worry about that. Well, I'm going to pass on this item. So if anybody wants it, $2. However, uh, if it don't sell, let's use it here at the station put it in the kitchen. This is a non-pickup. It is gadgets. Antique gadgets. Antique gadgets. Well, let's see. Wheel dang on Little pictures and stuff like that. Um, looks like a little pot or whatnot. I mean, you could use that for lead and stuff like that. A little funnel. Yes, Potato masher. This says, what's it say on the back? Fort Worth. Bowling Fort Worth. And here's a roasted espresso. What's that say? I don't know. Cast iron or something. I guess it was from a candle, uh, maybe. And that, it's what it looks like. And this That's is... $5. A little basket of something. I don't know. What the, I don't even know what that's for. You're selling this for how much? The whole thing for five. The whole box for five bucks. Yeah. Well, daggone. You can tell me what that's for when you get it. All right, if you're interested in that. And you got, these are all, I mean, cast iron. You know, all you got to do is just season them. And it's non-stick. I mean, you can always use that in, in a forge. You're making sinkers and stuff like that. You got your own little funnel and uh, your little potato masher. Mm -hmm. I do not have a potato masher. And there you go. So just give us a call on that and go from there. We'll trade. <laughs> we'll trade. 
with graduation coming up, June weddings coming up. Yeah. This punch bowl with all with the cups. Now there's some cups that match. There's two styles of cups. Okay. I will point that out. There's that one. And there's another style. So there's two separate styles. Okay. So they don't all match. They're just Most. different. Most of them look like they match though. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it was a. Uh, $10 for the whole thing. $10 for it all. Well, it looks like it was an entire set of like six of the one style. And yeah. adding a couple others if because they weren't needed more. If you want to use that for a um, punch bowl. Oh man, I need a punch bowl. You could use that for like a, you know, you've seen those strawberry layered desserts or something yeah. like that. Oh. And the fact is that it's see-through, which would lend to the beauty of your oh yeah des your dessert that you make. See, Mom, they're all the same except for these two. Yeah. So you got two, four, six, eight. Eight of this style. And okay. ten total cups. But you got ten total, and it's just there's two of them that's like that. Yeah. Okay. Two like that, and then eight like that. And ten dollars gets you it all. And here's your little dipper spoon type thingy. And, and the, these little, they have their own beautiful little handles. They're pretty. I tell you what, they're really, really pretty. And you know, I would imagine you could drink like hot cocoa or coffee out of it. You know what would be good is that spice cider. Yeah. Man, I love that stuff. And some people, and I, I actually kind of like it too. Like drinking coffee out of a clear cup. I've done that. I've done that numerous times. Yeah. Actually, Mom, there was a time when I, you know, you're about ready to do dishes and you're like, I don't have any coffee cups that's not in the dishwasher that's washing or that's not done. I've drank coffee out of a sippy cup before. <laughs> what? Dude, I tell you what, they work pretty good. So, I mean, there's time, right. you know, you well, that's all, hey, I don't care. That's all right. <laughs> I wanted a cup of coffee and there wasn't any that was clean and I guess I could have washed it, but me and my man jeans and <sighs> yeah. Tori was wondering what I was doing too. So Huh? I am being careful with it. I I'm trying. Yeah, for graduation you can get your own peach bowl or, or peach bowl. Punch bowl. Punch bowl. Wow. Yeah. I need a nap. Now we have these flowered earrings. Oh, they're pretty. They're po they are pierced. Pierced. And they're $3 each. And we have 25 Let me zoom in. Let me zoom in. Hold on a second. Got zoom. little beads there and then flowers at the end. Oh, look how pretty. Oh, all right, see that? They, they are pierced. They got little flowers on it. How many of these you got? 25 you want to do something stupid? I know, two dollars. <laughs> there you go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking two dollars each. And you two can get some dangly do earrings. And they're pretty. I tell you what, they're pretty. At two bucks. Wow, what a deal. So there you go. Um, and uh, Tori, if you'll get ready, we're on item number um, 21. Come up after 25 and finish. Well, you want to do the prayer request before you leave or after you leave? Uh, doesn't matter. Don't matter? Now, okay, earrings, $2 each. $2 each. Now, one of our shirts that uh, you see in front of us, two of them are now on the floor. <laughs> so our display is kind of... Messed up right It's now. getting kind of in rain shambles, isn't it? <laughs> but we have the shirt. Two dollars each on these earrings yeah. if you want them. All right. Now I'm going, let's move on to the next item. That's called the slider. The slider? He's their mascot. Oh. The Indians mascot. Cleveland oh. Indians mascot, the mm -hmm. slider. The yellow shirt, extra large. It's five dollars. Five dollars. Right here, that yellow one. Okay. Now you see the camera really well. <laughs> we gotta get 
get that up or something. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Oh. So there it says slider. There you see. Well, maybe. Mm -hmm. Can, That's can good. you come up here somewhere? There you go. There you see slider right there. It's five bucks. Yep. Five bucks if you're interested in having slider. It is licensed merchandise. Licensed. Extra large. Extra large Cleveland Indians. Give us a call on that. It says sliders yellow. Purdy. Yeah, I tell you what. There you and go. This, these two. This one that says this Cleveland one's Indians. Extra, extra large. Both of them. Frank. The royal blue T-shirt, extra extra large. That's five dollars. This one's five as well. Yep. And that's so. This one just says Cleveland Indians. It's like a Chief Wahoo. It looks all kind of embroidered in there. And this one's just a player. It says Frank. Oh, is it Travis? I think it was. Was his name? Um, I'm not 100% sure myself. Uh, but Those two are extra, extra large. They're These, double, double chunkies. Yeah. Two and X. The yellow one. These both are two X, and that's an extra large. Yeah. Extra large Indians. Extra large Indians. That one's sold. Okay. I got two double chunkies. Double chunkies, not single chunkies. Double chunkies. And uh, so there you go. So if you're interested in some of the Indian shirts for five bucks, mm -hmm. what a deal. 2X, which one? Which one? We got, we got two 2Xs. They're both 2X. The Royal and the Navy. Are both Royal and 2X. Navy blue. Both of them? Both of them sold. Ding a ling a ling. Okay. Now, it is the time for going to the beach. I'm ready for a beach. Now, you see these chairs out there. They're Rio. Oh, friend. man. We're, I'm the ready. beach chairs. Dude, I'm ready for a beach. Mom. I mean, they're close to the floor. Well, um, it's so you can get your feet in the sand. Right. Yeah. But they're excellent condition. Oh, yeah. They're named by Tom. Thank you, Tom. Tom and Mansfield. Yeah. And we have them $10 each. You will Ooh. find those chairs for $10. That's it. So if you're interested in some nice beach chairs, they're low to the ground. So that way you can be uh, lounging on the beach. And um, the nice thing about them being low is if you're using a beach umbrella, one of the big ones that just lay over, you can stay in the shade and still be sitting down and stuff yeah. like that. And, you know, that's better for your back using something like that too. Uh, so uh, you can go from there. Really good item right there. Ten dollars each. Ten dollars each on notes. Okay. Now, next thing I got right here is some bobby pins. Ninety-six colorful bobby pins. Wow. Ninety-six. We have the bold colors. You have the, the pastel in your hand. Who they are? Are they bold? The pastel is two. We've got two of these. Two pastels. So if you want some bright now colors. these are bold colors. You know, then you also got the more traditional colors. So you got Which pastels. Of each. And then you got, there's, uh, they got some blacks and navies and, and greens and stuff like that. We got two of each. 96 so. bobby pins for $2. That's Go a good deal. Price those. First of all, you can't hardly find those. No. Second of all, they won't be $2. Believe me. Well, I can honestly say, Mom, I've never went and bought bobby pins. Well. I can say that with uh, a truthful heart right there. Well, that's Never okay. have. I but, never bought some of the things you buy. So. Well, that's true. Um, so there you go. If you're interested in any of those. All right, we have if you want to change spots, you the, can come up. The, the pastel colors, and we have the more traditional mm -hmm. colors. And give us a call, two dollars each. You want to do some prayer requests, real quick, Mom? There's only four bobby pins total. Three has sold. Which ones? Two pastel and two. Two bold. pastel, two other colors, and tradition. Pastel and like summer spring colors. So there you go. We only got one thing of bobby pins left. We only have four total. Four total. And uh, let's do a couple prayer requests. And while uh, they're trying to figure it out, let me take my hat off. And if they're gone, bobby pins are sold out, okay? 
Uh, I only got like four prayer requests here, and I'm going to ask for you to join in with me on these prayer requests, okay? Um, so, let's go ahead and uh, pray for them, okay? Um, sound like a deal? Sounds like a deal. Uh, this one right here, I got a prayer request for Ruth. Uh, Ruth had a stroke. Uh, she is now home today, but also pray for a healing. Uh, so, she's not doing well at all, is what Amy's telling me, okay? Uh, so, let's go ahead and pray for Ruth, and I'm going to ask for you to join in with me. Um, and honestly, it doesn't matter what your denomination of what church you go to on Sunday. Um, I could go through the entire list, but you know what they are. The whole thing about it is whether you know Jesus or don't you know Jesus. And the one thing is if you're a Christ follower like I am, I'm going to ask for you to join in uh, prayer with me. And let's all come together and let's pray for this lady by the name of Ruth. And um, let's pray together, shall we? Uh, she had a stroke. She's home today, but she's ha not doing very good. And let's pray for a quick healing, okay? Lord, what can I say but it's me again? And uh, Lord, I got another prayer request uh, that came in uh, through the phones. And Lord, uh, I want to bring it to your attention, Lord. And uh, I'm praying for you to act on the situation. Uh, this one right here is for Ruth, Lord. It just says that she had a stroke. And uh, the one thing about it, you knew about uh, the issues that's going on in her life because you're there and you walk with us each and every day. And uh, Lord, do you know that she's had a stroke and um, she's starting to have, a, it sounds like a little bit of side effects from it, Lord. And what she's praying for, she's, I'm sure she's worried. And Lord, I'm praying for you to uh, uh, give her some peace in her mind and peace in her heart and just let her know that everything's going to be okay. And uh, Lord, just to, to help out Ruth, Lord, I'm praying for blessings to come her way. Uh, Lord, just uh, bless her, and um, uh, Lord, I'm praying for her not to have any more strokes and uh, for her blood to not clot up, uh, and Lord, I'm praying for her to do so much better, and Lord, I'm praying for you to come on the scene and be with her. Lord, I thank you for what you're going to be doing, and Lord, I thank you for listening to all the different prayer requests that we have. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, next one I got right here. It says right here, Carolyn has throat cancer and is going in for radiation. You want to pray for Carolyn, Mom? Lord, do you know that um, this prayer request yes, has come Lord. to us before? Be with Carolyn, and we know that it's through. gotten your attention, and we're asking you right yes, now, once on again, to uh, pay, pay special attention to this uh, like prayer request away, that Carolyn Thank has a diagnosis that's yes, very troubling. Lord. But we know you are that great physician that can lift her up. We're asking you right now, Lord, that this uh, treatment that's going to take place, that you be in charge of it. We've yes. placed her in your hands. We're giving her to you right now. Her total health care, her total life. We're asking you right now to go before her and take charge of the treatments. Yes. Lord. We're asking for the wisdom of those that are doing these treatments. We're asking you, Lord, to take charge of her nutrition. We're asking you to take charge of the radiation treatments and when they're done and how they're done. We're just asking you, Lord, for your divine intervention so that this cancer can be healed. And we know that it can be. And you, you know, Lord, there is a, I can be a witness that there is someone else who had throat cancer and now they're in total remission. And yes. so there is hope and there is, uh, if you have a little bit of faith, there is healing. And we're asking you for your healing touch for Carolyn and her throat cancer in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Um, I got one here for Bev, and um, I'm going to ask for you to pray with me on this one. This one's for Bev. It says she has cirrhosis of the liver. They said it's also inoperable, and she is on hospice. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, pray for Bev. Lord, once again, I got another prayer request. And uh, Lord, I got another person called in um, looking for help. Lord, I'm coming to you on behalf of Bev, Lord. And I know she has a diagnosis of cirrhosis of the liver. 
Lord, and the doctors are saying it's inoperable, and they say the only thing they can do is instead of trying to treat her for the condition, is to treat her for the pain and put her home on hospice. Lord, the doctors are saying there's nothing more they can do. Lord, the one thing I'm so thankful for is when our faith and our, and our um, ability to do what we think we can do is, is done, that's when you get to step in, Lord. Lord, I thank you for what you're going to be doing in Bev's life. And Lord, I'm thankful uh, that you're there with her all along the way. Lord, you're there with her in the times when she might be in pain or you're in there in the times when uh, she might seem troubled. Lord, you're there with her to help her, Lord, and to be with her. Lord, um, I'm praying for you to do your will here, Lord. Whether it be your will where you, you touch her liver and you, you end the cirrhosis of the liver to make it uh, so that way the, the liver is going to heal on its own, Lord. Lord, I'd give you the praise for it for doing that as well. But Lord, if it uh, be your time where, uh, for Bev's time to go home to be with you in heaven, where she has no more pain and no more sorrows and, um, and to get that new heavenly body, if that be your will as well, Lord, I'm just praying for your will to be done. Lord, so just be with Bev and bring some peace to her and the whole family, Lord. And just let them all know that it's going to be okay. Because you are God and you are worthy to be praised. Lord, I thank you for it all. And just be with them all. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Mom, I got one here for uh, you. It says, um, for Sonny. Sonny has leukemia and gallbladder surgery this next week. It says leukemia and gallbladder surgery. Lord, we're coming to you right now in behalf of Sonny. Yes, Lord. And next week is going to be a very trying week for him, but it could also be a very uh, prosperous week. Yes, Lord. Because you are there with him right now, wherever he is, and you'll be there with him during this surgery. We know that. And we ask you to lift him up and let him not be anxious and let him know that you're going to be there with him, lifting him up and directing the care that he's getting. And we're asking for your divine touch. He needs it, Lord. And we know you will yes, provide. Lord. And we know that he has faith to believe that. And we're asking you, Lord, to heal his body. We know that you can. And in Jesus' name we pray and lift him up. This That Sonny's needs will be met. Yes, in Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Last one I have right here is for Doug. And uh, Doug, it just says right here that you have colon cancer. And um, well, let's go ahead and let's pray about it. And I'm going to ask for, uh, Doug, I'm going to ask for you to pray for your request as well. Because the one thing I know, Doug, is I know there are a lot of people out there that watch this program. And I know I have a whole lot of people out there that pray with each and every one of these requests. And what I'm going to ask for you to do is to pray right along with me. And uh, when we pray for a healing, just pray to receive the healing. And also to stand on the faith that you're going to be getting better. And uh, So Doug, let's go pray together. And uh, also everybody out there uh, in TV land, uh, you know where you're at and you know how you're watching. I'm going to ask for you to pray right along with me for Doug. And um, it says right here, Doug has colon cancer. So let's go ahead and pray for Doug. And go from there, okay? Lord, once again, it's me. What can I say? But I got another request that I want to bring to your attention, Lord. This one, Lord, is Doug. Lord, it's a simple request. Lord, it just says he has colon cancer. Now, I know, Lord, um, when I say the word cancer, honestly, Lord, it scares me a little bit. And also, Lord, I know when I'm not alone because cancer is such a scary word. But, Lord, for you, it's just a word. Lord, I'm praying for you to touch Doug. And, Lord, I'm praying for whatever bad cells that might be growing in his body, Lord, whatever polyps or whatever places that he has, Lord. Lord, I'm praying for you to take care of it, Lord. And I'm praying for a complete healing. 
Now, Lord, whether you want to use the doctors or uh, to have them help, uh, help him out with it and whatever other treatments they have, uh, uh, whether it be surgery or radiation or, 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 or chemotherapy or whatever, Lord. And if that's the way that you want to help him uh, to get healed, Lord, well, so be it. But Lord, if you want to give him that miraculous healing where all of a sudden he'll wake up one day and all of a sudden the cancer will be gone. I know it'll be okay with Doug because I know uh, uh, that would be a wonderful thing as well. So, Lord, wh wh whatever way you want to heal him, Lord, I just know that you will. And, Lord, I'm praying that right now. At this moment, he's going to start feeling better, Lord. Lord, I'm praying for you to touch him, Lord, and I'm praying for you to lift him up. Because, Lord, he's had too many rough days. And, Lord, it sounds like he needs a little bit of sunshine in his life, Lord. Lord, I'm just praying for you to help him, Lord, and just be with him. And, uh, Lord, i got to give you the praise for it. And the other thing I do know is Doug will give you the praise for it, too. Because in these times that he's being tested, Lord, I'm thankful for that testimony that's coming around the corner. Lord, just be with him. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. and amen. We're going to change right now. We're going to change. Hostesses, good night. Tori, well, good come night, on up. 25, number 25. And I want to thank each and every one of you out there for helping me pray for all these different requests that's came on in. And it's not too late. If you have any prayer requests, call on in with those too. Uh, but I want to give everybody... Okay. We got more that's coming. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but that's okay. Um, if you have any requests, call on in and we'll pray together. This but is back up for sale. That's back up for sale. That's yep. an extra large. That is the extra large. So if you are interested in this, this is That's the slider. extra large yep. slider shirt. Yes. Okay. Mom oh, will take that it. That one sold then. Never okay, mind. that one sold. Not up anymore. That's quick. <laughs> All right, next here we've got hose clamps. This is, we've got nine of these. They are $2 each. And it looks like you got quite a few of them. Uh, hose clamps there. are uh, wonderful items. For one thing to help you get your hoses and stay on, you know, your cars or, or, or whatever, you know, uh, that you're needing to attach. But I remember Dad, he attached a uh, tailpipe with some hose clamps and uh, a little bit of ingenuity one time. And you know what? That repair he did many moons ago, Dad's been passed on for a year now. But you know what? That's still, that repair is still working. Uh, because I see the evidence of it uh, from uh, the, the vehicle that Mom has. Because that, that tailpipe's still staying up there, and uh, it was done with uh, some hose clamps. He actually used two of them, uh, so that way you can make a bigger ring and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it works well, and we have them for two dollars each. Ten, uh, it's a uh, ten-piece set from everything from twenty-one millimeter to thirty-two millimeter, and uh, everything in between. So there you go. I got ten hose clamps, so you're good to go. Um, it's good to have this as a, just a, an extra item, uh, just because you never know when you might need some. And they, uh, they're one of those uh, help you do it alls and uh, go from there. So just give us a call on the 10 piece hose clamp sets and uh, go from there, okay? Any other takers? At $2 each, what a deal. I mean, that's a good deal. If I do say so myself, that's a good deal. Um, so just give us a call on that and go from there. Problem? No, I about drop an earring. Well, don't drop an earring. That'd be Try bad. That too. So there you go. If you're interested in the hose clamps, how many we got? You know? Yep. How many? We have a nine. Nine of them. Mean. Okay. So just give us a call. I really should make this for you. But okay. then I guess it had holes in it. Well, let's not put holes in the busts. I'm not. We don't need to pierce our busts. John, that just sounds terrible. I'm sorry. Hey, you found a way to hang them. What can I say? Okay, I so if you're interested. Smart and like I that. know, I know. All right. We have a bit of jewelry here for the ladies. For the ladies. This is a heart necklace with matching earrings. It actually has like three charms on three charms on it. You have the you gotta focus there. I'm trying. You got the you've got a large rectangle that's filled with hearts. There we go, we're focused now. You got some 
Get your pen there to show them I, I am behind them. Well, right here, you got a little jewel <laughs> right here. Okay, there's a jewel there. There's some hearts right there, and then there's another heart behind it, okay? And you are got a nice little chain right here, okay? And you got two little heart earrings right along with it, okay? And we're selling it for three bucks. How many of these we got? Three dollars. We have 11. Woo. All right, only 11. And you get both the earrings and the necklace. Earrings and necklace. It's a set for three dollars. What a deal. And this one even has the little rubber suppers for your earring back. Well, ain't that To thing. keep them from falling out. Well, that's always good. So there you go. If you're interested in the uh, necklace and earrings. Trust me, it's very frustrating when you get brand new earrings, wear them, and then you lose one because it fell out of your ear. The back of your ear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it doesn't have a stopper and all that. Yep. Yep. How about this, Tori? Let's sell them for two bucks. Already a steal of a deal. Well, this one's a really big steal. That means you're getting it for a dollar and change. I think mom left the room. So you better hope Oh no, know. she didn't. She just oh, turned around. Dang on it, I'm in trouble. You Two dollars, man. Good. We got eleven of these deals. I only got eleven. <laughs> so I don't know how much will she get after me for eleven bucks that we might be losing on this. <laughs> Probably a lot. You know, <laughs> yeah, so uh, there you go. Maybe she'll go out for breakfast with us tomorrow. Huh? How many sold? We have 11. You want my blue pen? Yeah. I have my blue pen. I like to mark off our list. Are we sold out of this yet? One set. One set. One down. Ten to go. Ten to go. I mean, at $2 each, you better be buying one for your mother, uh, grandmother, uh, niece, ne nephew, wife. Yeah, you better buy one for your wife. Ne Maybe Did ne you say nephew? <laughs> Nephew's girlfriend. Oh, that? there you go. <laughs> Nephew's girlfriend. I like it. Yeah. I say it. We kind of started out Chase, are you going to wear that? Hey, I stopped and then you said it. I, I said, nephew. Nah, nah, oh, I'm like... It. Well, I was wondering what you were even saying. Well, I mean, uh, that's not even fun to joke about right now, to tell you the truth. But there you go. I'll, Anyways, just, I'll just leave it at that. We'll put it that way. We're leaving that one right alone. And um, that's one of the ones where you just get all the way to the edge of the pool and you decide, I'm not going to jump in today and uh, just go from there. And we only had 11. 11 total. Okay. She said, okay. We sold, sold four. four. All right. Well, we we're, we're still going. <laughs> All right, I got my little counter for how you many sold. You got a counter? Yep, I got my little markies. Oh. I'm going to make markies. Marky marks? No, mar not marky marks. Not marky marks? I couldn't even tell you what he saw. Oh, uh, no. I see. All right. I'm sure you can Google that, but that's okay. <laughs> Any other takers? Does anybody else want a nice necklace set where you get the necklace and you get that in here? It comes in that nice little, let me see that little pouch. It comes in like this. This is how you get it. So, oh my Ooh. goodness. Woo, that glared. Oh glitter, my goodness. Glitter. glitter, glitter just went all sort of, woo, woo, woo. Okay. Anyway, it's actually gray in a tube. It's just, yeah, it's. Not wanting to show up on my really bright camera right now, but that's okay. I guess it is pointed towards that light. No wonder. Okay, that's cool. Uh, so there you go. If you're interested, give us a call on those. Any other takers? Any other takers? No. Am I moving on? No. I hear the phones ringing. I don't know if I should move on or not. Hey, you got the done prayer requests over there. Here, let me get, add these to your done pile. What is that? Oh. So there you go. Add that to your done pile. Yeah, I had a quite, quite a few tonight. Well, I guess so. And lots of well, needs out there. Well, people have needs, and that's How okay. How many? Two Only left. Two. Two left. Last, Last two. two. I'm trying to sell out here, and uh, if you call want, in, and you can get yours now. There you go. Maybe you got somebody graduating. Well, guess what? 
you can be out a whole whopping two dollars for a gift. Well, maybe you should put a twenty in it or something too, I guess. But that way they got something it's to wear too. Don't worry about it. Well, that's true. They don't need to know how much you paid or didn't pay. That's true. <laughs> that is so true. I don't think the box even says. It just says on there. Um, all right, we got two know. deals left. Only Last two, two deals. Any tonight, other takers? Tonight only. We're, we're going to go ahead and well, moving on. move on to the next item here. I'm going to take the earrings moving out. Moving right along. Do, 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 All right, do, do, next, do, do, what are we going to have? Do, 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 do. We are going to have that? braided floating <laughs> recreational rope. Well, that's something we can that's have. That's a mouthful. Okay. This is 50-foot braided floating rope. Yeah, 50 foot of floating recreational rope. Braided for a reduced stretch and tangling, mildew resistant, which that's good. Spliceable, there you go, so you can splice it. 81 pound load limit. And uh, so there you go, it's a Wellington medium load rope. Uh, it's braided Poly Pro. How much? A dollar? Is this seriously a dollar? It is one dollar. Holy cow, you get rope, that's floating rope. How many of those you got? I've got only one. Really? No. You got a bunch of, she said, I got a bunch of ropes. 11. Is 11. there 11 too? We got 11 ropes. Necklaces are sold. Necklaces are sold. Thank you. So, congratulations. So we got ropes tonight. or rope eyes. What? Is that plural? No. Really? No. Rope eyes. No. So there you go. If you need some ropes, it's quarter inch by 50 foot. Or maybe you don't need floating rope. Maybe you just need rope that you need rope. you'll be able to see. It's a bright orange rope. You can rope off your yard, your garden. Well, the nice thing about I mean, with it. Yeah, I always say you keep some rope in the trunk. You know, because you never know. Maybe you got something you need to haul. Maybe you're going on a yard sale and say, I found an end table for three bucks. That'd be perfect. Ooh. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, I got to tie my daggone trunk down Ooh. with something. Then I found chairs. Oh, yeah. And then you just load then up the trunk. Then you load up the whole car. And then all then of a sudden you're hat rack. <laughs> better get a couple things of rope so that way you can tie it all down and secure your load. <laughs> if not, you might get picked up. And that's not good. <laughs> and uh, just a good item right there. A dollar each. Dollar, 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 dollar. Man, I, that's a good deal. I can't say that quick enough. Dollar each. Yeah. Holy cow. Dollar each. That's a good buy. Oh, oh what? Uh, one rope left. The last that's rope it. for a dollar. One, one left. Anybody got a dollar and say, hey, I need some rope? There you go. Give us a call. It's got a load limit of 81 pounds. There you go. All right, we're going to let you think about it. We're going to go on to the next item here. Moving on, moving on, moving on. Let me back his camera up. Hold on. We Okay. Sconces. We have a couple items here. We've got some sconces. Sconces. Fancy sconces. All right. We're selling both sconces. Uh-huh. Okay, is that it? No. No? I think you get this piece too. Get it all for one money? Okay, what else? And the matching table piece. This is matching table piece. It's a piece. candle holder. It is a candle holder for like a couple inch candle and stuff like that. And two sconces. We were going to do a uh, lights camera shop will be, uh, you can pick up tomorrow before the um, gospel scene. So we'll be here at five. Five o'clock tomorrow. So tell them to come in at five o'clock tomorrow. Um, yeah, I say because, you know, we got, I got a few things to do. Rope sold out. Rope sold out. Thank you. So, yeah, pick up your items tomorrow at 5 o'clock. Uh, so, we'll be here. And uh, also, you can stay for the gospel sing if you really want to. 7 o'clock uh, tomorrow night. Yeah. We're going to have Chosen and Gospel Roadmasters here. Yeah. I feel like the Roadmaster today. I went to Columbus, to Edison, to Marion, to Caledonia, back to Marion. And yet I got to go back to Caledonia. All right. I feel like Thank a roadmaster today. Oh, they're sold? Okay. I guess I should pay attention to the show that I'm on. 
You want to do some prayer requests or you want to do those knives? What do you want to do? No, make no, never mind. Let's do these. What? Makes no, never mind. Okay. <laughs> Makes no, never mind. Makes no, never mind to me. All right. Isn't we that a double negative? Knives, probably. I thought so. <laughs> I got a, a blue knife. Let's see. Let me zoom in. Hold on. Zoom, all Mr. Right, Cameron. All right. These are all zoom. Intech knives. Okay. This one is a, this is 10, they're all $10. They're $10. Okay, $10. Okay. That's so a blue one. We got A here, it's snake, black and blue. Snake Eye Tactical, and it's got a belt clip on it. It's a nice swooping angle. $10, spring assisted, there you go. Only nice have one. item. Oh, I like you a lot. $10, give us a call. That's A. Ooh, I like that one. Let me see what you got. A weak What do we got here? This Ooh, is B. I like you that one. That's an M Tech USA. Look at that. Isn't that a pretty knife? Let me get it up back here so you can see it. And that's a pretty knife. Another, uh, this one, instead of having a liner lock, this is a frame lock. So it, actually, the frame itself goes to open it up. Opens up just that easy. Good item right yeah, there. One of M -tech. B. Tech. That's B. Now, letter C, I've Assisted got two. Open. I like it. I like you that one too. Okay. Oh, there. Look at that. Oh, man, look at that. Now, that's what you call a pretty knife. That one is style C. C, and I got two. Okay. And that's cute. Let's see? What you call them cute? Uh, I'd say so. <laughs> but look at it. It's a liner lock as well, pocket clip. Good item right there. Give us a call. This one's style C. And I love the black look with the sure gold. Uh, give us a call. Yep. What? I got two of C. And that's two an assisted gold. opening. That's a nice knife. Nice action on it. M Tech. They make a good quality blade and last a long time. Okay, A is gone. A is gone. What one are you on now? D. D as in dandy. Is it dandy? It is a dandy of a knife. Let's find out how dandy it is. It's another frame lock. Uh, pocket clip. Oh, I like the reverse uh, angle on that, so that way it's a deep pocket carry. Pull it out. Oh, it's not an assisted opening. Only uh, one of D. Only one of D. It's not assisted opening, but that's not necessarily a bad thing because that's an easy opener. I mean, look how easy that thing glides open. And a uh, really nice item right there. Uh, maybe, uh, see, I'm not a big, I, I have some assisted openers. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily one of my favorites or the assisted openers because I'm always afraid they'll poke open when I don't want them to uh, and stuff like that. But here you go. And that's a nice quality knife. Uh, real easy to get open. $10 each on that. $10 each on that. Frame lock and all. Ooh. Really good item right there. What do you got? Ooh, I don't look pretty. I'm kind of curious on that. I like this one's D, by the way, if you're interested. That's D. Let me see what you got. This one's E. You don't even get to see it next. Why? Because this is up in my hand. Oh, this one's <laughs> this one's E. This one's got your window breaker. Okay. Uh, this one's more of a survivalist, or you know, in case uh, um, stuff starts ha happening or whatnot. Basically, you got your seatbelt cutter. You know, so basically, if you're an EMT, this would be great for breaking windows and cutting seatbelts. Also, open it up quick. Uh, nice action on it. Really nice item. It's, this one is a liner lock. See how the liner comes over to, to secure the blade? And also you got your nice uh, pocket clip on it. Good item right there. $10 on that. $10 on that. All right. Next item. All right, that one's up. All right, we got F right here. We only have one of it. And there you go. It's a... Uh, um, got some uh, diamonds on it and stuff like that. Really pretty. Open her up. There you go. Opens up quickly. E what is, is that? What does that even say on it? Is it got flames? I don't even know as well. I'm not 100% sure. It says M Tech USA, but I can't tell what that says on the blade. Or it's like an etching of something. Anyway, if you're interested in that, ten dollars on that, ten dollars. A cool look on to it. That it does have a neat look to it. Reminds me of like a stiletto. It's like a medieval. 
really pretty. Give us a call. Gosh, that's big. <gasps> Ooh, I like you that. <laughs> big, it's flashy, and it's something that I might need. No, so there you go. If you're interested, ten dollars on that. That is style F. <laughs> it oh. Ooh, I like you that. Right, I got two with G here. Oh, now this that is, is cool. You got you got your sword and shield right there. Sword and shield. And you got your rainbow look right there. Nice little cross in the middle. Or Okay, it says all steel. Let's see it. Let's open it up. Ooh, man. That's a knife, man. I tell you what, that is a nice knife. It says on there, all like steel just... M-Tech. And look at that thing just it's shine. It, I think. Ooh, I tell you what. Yeah, sure you pull that one. Uh, you pull that out of your pocket saying, does anybody got a knife I can borrow? You pull that out they of the pocket. That'll get. They will stand up and take notice when you pull that out of your pocket. That is just a really cool knife at ten dollars. Two of G. Two of G. All right, so just give us a call on that, man. Tori, I might need that one in my collection. I'm telling you, you don't. Are you sure? I'm sure. Now, Tori, do you know how I'm many sure. you know how many knives I have? I'm but sure. I don't have one like that. I think one just went oh, sold. Well, we'll find out if it don't sell, and we'll see what we can do. All right. That's I. That one was I, right? No. That was. What did you have? This is G. Okay, that, she a. had G. Is there two G's? Yes. Two I G's. Got two with G. So, oh, they're both so. Oh. Thank you. Is that H? This is H. That's H. Yep. H is similar to that one that was red. That was more of like, a, uh, as I said, the um, EMT style. And it's got the blue on it. So uh, once again, opens up seatbelt cutter, window breaker. And a liner lock. Uh, good item right there. $10 on that. $10 on that. Now let me see uh, what was the last one you got. That's the last one, right? This one's I. Look at that. Ooh, I love that carbon look on there. See if you can see that. See, it's got like a checkerboard carbon fiber look. And then you got like the, the bronzy look right there. That's kind of nice. All right. Then you also got your pocket clip right here. That's a sharp looking knife. Ooh, okay. It's not an assisted opening, but that's okay. I like it. Oh, I like that a lot. It's a nice big old chunky knife. Perfect for my hand. Ooh, I like that a lot. Give us a call on that. And that has that carbon fiber and that bronze look. I like it a lot. Give us a call. All right. I like the finger grips on this one. I like it. See, I, I really like that knife. I love the action I on like it. I all of them. I know. And my wallet's I, not that I fat. I know. Trust me, I know too. There's only, oh look, there's another one of that one. Okay. So what else you got now? All right, this one is J. Last one? No, I got We got one more. more? Style J, what do we got here? This is uh, got finger grooves on it. I see that right now. I like the finger grooves. All right, opens up. It does give you a nice secure grip. All right, now this is a uh, regular flat blade, non serrated, okay? Black blade, finger grooves. Also, you got your uh, pocket clip right there. And the one thing about it, this is a nice big knife. It gives you all a full, full four finger grip on it. Okay, so you got a, a really good solid grip on that knife. I really like that. M Tech Ballistic. Assisted opening, too. So flip it open. There you go. Nice item right there. Nice item. This one is what, what letter? J. J. This one's styled J. What, you got K? K is the same as another one. K is the same as another one. I'm doubling one. that up. So we're on L. We are on L. Ooh. Ooh. It's blue. Let's see what happens when you open it. <gasps> Ooh, it's even blue when you open it. Oh, looky right there. It's even got like shades and different colors and stuff. It reminds me of like a, a nebula or something like that inside there. A the, nebula. The space, like when you look at the, the nebulas and stuff like that. That's what it reminds me of. I just can't believe you're doesn't describing it, a knife like that. Doesn't it remind <laughs> you of that? I mean, you got like purple here and you got like all these little splashes of color. Huh? You don't, you don't see that? Honestly, you don't see that. And then when you put the... See, I mean, that's just a sharp looking knife, man. I like it. I mean, you don't see that. I see it. I think oh, it my is goodness. Pretty. I think it is. Too. I just wouldn't have described it as a nebula. Well, uh, what are you going to describe it as? It's blasts of color? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Spray of color. Spray of color. No. 
<laughs> you got to describe it a little bit better. Right? Oh, by the way, if you want any of those uh, license plates over there, those are how much each? You see the Indians, uh, Steelers, uh, U.S. Navy? Down. It's way down uh, the list. Way down the list. We'll figure yeah. it out and we'll tell people. I think it's like four bucks. You're, you're, you're messing with me. But anyway, those are all the license plates for the front of your car. I see Steelers, Indians, five bucks. Five bucks. Five dollars on the license plates. You see Steelers and Indians and all that sort of stuff. So there you go. If you're interested in those, give us a call. I got some prayer requests right here. Um, you want to do that? Yeah, let's do that. Go ahead. Are the phones clear? I think so. All right, 12th caller, call on in right now. You get it. You get all the boxes. You here. get the whole box. You, you get uh, cap lights, hex keys. You get you some auto testers. Uh, you get uh, a you needle get a for your basketball. You here. Okay. You get a, I think this is a racer bracelet. set. Yeah, this is a nice men's bracelet. Oh, there. you get Look some highlighters. You Switch got some blade cones. You got a charm bracelet. You got something for everybody. You got charm a bracelet. I don't you ever. You get a nice pen and you get the box. Do they get the box too? Maybe or not. Is that your Are they box? giving away our box? Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't give away our box. They're hard to come by around here. We uh, got our we winner. Got winner. We got our winner. All right, we so may there find you. another box. We might have away. to find another box to stick Sorry. in. I got a couple other ones. <laughs> so we'll see. I say uh, normally when we get items, we don't give away those boxes. Because those are hard to, hard to find. My bad. So there you go. And I thank you uh, for it. And um, thank you for uh, participating with that. We'll find out who was the winner here in a second. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to ask for you to pray with me on a, a couple of these uh, different prayer requests that come on in. And, uh, and uh, to join in with me on them. It looks like I got four of them. So it won't take a whole lot. And uh, we'll just go ahead and pray together, shall we? Okay. First one right now I got for Phyllis. It says she uh, fell and broke her hip. So I'm going to ask for you to join in with me in prayer. Lord, uh, first off, I love you so much. And I thank you for, uh, for one thing, saving me. And uh, Lord, I I'm thankful for the things that you do for me each and every day. And Lord, I know I'm not uh, special and unique because I know that you help out so many other people. And I'm asking for you to help one more person. I'm asking for you to help Phyllis, Lord. Uh, Lord, it says that she fell and broke her hip. And uh, Lord, I'm praying for you to uh, send your Holy Spirit to her to help that uh, hip start to mend, Lord. And uh, Lord, I'm also praying for the pain to start subsiding uh, so she don't have the pain from it as much. And uh, also, Lord, I know whenever you break a bone and um, you're trying to, to do better, uh, and Lord, when you can't really do what you used to, Lord, you get frustrated. And Lord, it can make tempers flare. And I'm praying for your peace to come to her and peace to come to the whole uh, family and the people that help take care of her, Lord. Uh, so Lord, just be with Phyllis. And Lord, I got to give you the praise and glory for what you're going to be doing in her, in her life. And I thank you for it, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Next one I got, my, let's look together. It says right here, Lucille, her right shoulder. Okay. Man, my hair's awful. I'm, I'll apologize now. Been wearing a hat all day. I can't help it. it says uh, her right shoulder is unable to raise her arm. She might have to have surgery. Okay. Um, well, one thing I'm thankful for is uh, the Lord made your arm, and uh, I know he can make it better, too. So let's go ahead and pray for Lucille together and uh, join in with me. Okay. Lord, uh, I got another prayer request for you, Lord. It's for Lucille. And uh, Lord, it just says her right shoulder is hurting her pretty bad, Lord. Uh, she says she can't really raise her arm, and um, she's also worried she might have to have surgery. Lord, I'm praying for you to help her uh, to raise her arm, Lord. Lord, I don't know what it could be going on with her arm and her, and her shoulder. Um, but the one thing about it, Lord, is I know uh, whatever is happening, Lord, you can help heal it. Uh, so, Lord, I'm praying for you to touch her, Lord, and um, make it so our, our shoulder's not as frozen as it used to be. And, Lord, I'm praying for that mobility to start coming in there. Lord, I'm asking you for to send your Holy Spirit, Lord, <coughs> right now, Lord. I'm praying that you just make her shoulder start to warm up, Lord. 
Let her know that you're there and you're touching it, Lord, and you're helping it to uh, get so much better, Lord. Lord, I'm praying that um, even as we're all praying for her, Lord, I'm praying for you to come on the scene and to help her out, Lord. Lord, I don't know what's wrong with it. Lord, I just know that you can help her through it. And Lord, thank you for what you're going to be doing and uh, help her in through it. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. <clears throat> I got one here for Steve. It says it needs healing from a stroke. Uh, his uh, vision was affected by the stroke. Um, and he also lost his son. Is that correct as well? Okay. Man, that's what you call a whammy and a half going on in Steve's life. But um, there's times when you feel like you're broken. And there's also times when you feel like you're about ready to give up. And I'm sure that's probably where Steve's at right now. If you lose your son and all of a sudden you can't, you had a stroke and you can't see, man, you got a lot of stuff going on in your life that's just not real nice. And it's not real good. But you know what? My Lord works in those cases. That's kind of tough. I mean, when you pick up your Bible and you read about Paul and you read about Peter and you read about all the different ones in the Bible, a lot of people, you look at the Bible and you think, these are all perfect people. No, 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 no. Paul in the Bible started off as Saul of Tartus, and he was a tax collector. He persecuted Christians, killed Christians, beat them sensibly, you know. But what happened was Jesus came on the scene, and um, when he lost his sight on the way to Damascus, and all of a sudden, that's when he got to meet Jesus, and he got to uh, learn about him. So there's times in your life when you're going through some adversity, like Paul in the Bible who lost his sight too. That's when you get to really reflect on what's really important and what life's all about. Let's go ahead and pray for Steve. I'm going to ask for you to join in with me. Who had a stroke, lost, um, his vision was affected by it, and uh, also he lost his son. Let's all go ahead and uh, go to the Lord in prayer for him. And I thank you for it ahead of time. Lord, it's me again. And Lord, I'm coming to you on behalf of Steve, Lord. And Lord, just in this request, Lord, I can feel the brokenness, Lord. That's, uh, co that came to him, Lord. Life has been, um, it's not been kind to him, Lord, where he lost his son. And Lord, as he's going through all the, the grief and... Um, and the, and the depression and, and um, all, as he's going through all that too, Lord, uh, he also had a, a stroke where he's also lost uh, some of his vision. Lord, I'm thankful for, um, for what you can do in Steve's life, Lord. Lord, I'm so thankful for in the times in our lives when it just seems like everything's going dark or everything's going bad, Lord. You're still God, and you're still able to help us through the mess that's in our lives. So, Lord, first off, I'm praying for you to come and uh, to be with Steve, Lord. Lord, let your peace surround him, Lord, and just let him know that you are the God of love and that you love Steve. And, Lord, I'm praying that your love abound uh, in his life. Lord, I'm praying for you to send family and friends around him, Lord. And just let him know that he is loved and he is cared for. And uh, Lord, just to help him to get through it all, through the stroke with his vision. And Lord, I'm praying for you to bring his vision back. And Lord, I'm praying for you to allow him to, to mend from the stroke. Uh, so that way that vision might be just a temporary thing, just like what happened to Paul in the Bible. And Lord, I'm praying for him to get so much better. Lord, just be with Steve. And uh, help him through it and bless him, Lord. And I know you will. And I, I'm, I'm looking forward to those praise reports that we're going to be getting from Steve in the near future. I thank you for it all, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Now, here you go, Steve. i got to tell you one thing here. i got a praise report right after your request. i got one right here from George. It just says George was healed from a stroke. So George knows what it's like to be like Steve where you had a stroke. And um, 
I'm sure George probably had some issues going on in his life, but you know what? He's calling in to give God the praise that he was healed from his stroke. So let's go ahead and uh, give God praise for what's happening in George's life. And that's the one thing about it. When you have a testimony on your heart, it helps to strengthen um, the faith of people that might have their faith shook a little bit, like Steve there. Here's the th <laughs> This is, gets even better yet. Yeah. Amy said, here's the thing. They pulled the plug on George. George didn't die. He came back. Wow. When life looks kind of bleak, that's when God's in control. Lord, I got to give you praise for George. Lord, I thank you for what you're doing in his life, Lord. Lord, I am so thankful for his testimony of when life looks bad. That's when you look towards God. And Lord, I thank you for what you're doing in his life. And Lord, I'm thankful for that testimony that of, of him just living, Lord. Lord, I'm thankful for it, Lord. And Lord, uh, just be with George and bless him, Lord, like I know you are. And Lord, I'm thankful of what you've done for him. And I'm rejoicing with him, just like he is too. I thank you for it all, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. I got a tea set here. Um, let me see if I can get that. I don't have a lot of time. So I got a tea this set. How really much for the whole set? set? This is 20 bucks. 20 bucks set. gets the whole set. You got the teapots, you got the you got the creamers, you got the sugars, you got the the you got it all. The creamer dishes. You get it all for one money. 20 bucks right there and that's all yours. Okay? 20 bucks, it's all yours and there one you go. Top, one little top here for the two I don't know whether those are the sugar dishes, I guess. Okay, and um, there you go. You got the top top for each little teapot. You got a smaller teapot and a bigger one. And then this is... Your coffee carafe. Uh, is that what that is? Looks like it. Coffee or tea carafe, I guess you can go like that. Anyway. On January 14th, 2014, WGCTCD was granted a license by the Federal Communications Commission to serve the public interest as a public trustee until October 1st, 2021. Our license will expire on October 1st, 2021. We must file an application for a license renewal with the FCC on June 1st, 2021. When filed, a copy of this application will be available for public inspection at www.fcc.gov. It contains information concerning the station's performance over the last four years. Individuals who wish to advise the FCC of facts relating to our renewal application and to whether the station has operated in the public interest should file comments and petitions with the FCC by September 1st, 2021. Further information concerning the FCC's broadcast license renewal process is available at 1282 North Main Street, Marion, Ohio, or may be obtained from the FCC, Washington, D.C., 20554 W.